Here's a GRE algebra question. Let's take a look. If x and y are integers and x equals 50y plus 69, which of the following must be odd? All right. Well, a lot of people think that this is some complicated algebra question where you have to do, you know, system of equations or substitution, something crazy. Uh, it's actually very straightforward. It's just testing your understanding of odds and evens. Let me show you what I mean. What do we know about x? Well, we know that x is equal to 50 times y plus 69. 69 is an odd number, right? 50 times y has to be even. How do I know that? 50 times anything ends with a zero, right? And if a number ends with a zero, it's an even number. Plug any number you want, any integer you want in for y, you're going to get an even number. So in other words, x is equal to an even plus an odd. And if you aren't familiar with kind of even and odd rules, that's totally fine. You can prove it very easily to yourself with a few test cases. Plug in a few numbers, two plus three, uh, seven plus eight, right? Um, I don't know, uh, 11 plus, uh, excuse me, uh, 12 plus 11, right? It's always going to come out to an odd number. So I know that X has to be odd. And now with this information, I can take a look at these and determine which answer option has to be odd. Not is possibly odd, but must be odd, right? So let's start with X times Y. Does X times Y have to be odd? We know that X is an odd number. Well, an odd times an even is not odd, right? An odd times an even, test it for yourself again, is an even. We don't know what Y is. Y could be even or odd. There's no, uh, we don't have any info on Y. So that's not necessarily true, right? We want something that must be odd without exception. Uh, okay, well, uh, X is an odd number, um, but we don't know what Y is. Y could be even or odd. So an odd plus an odd is an even. Three plus three is six, uh, but an odd plus an even is an odd. So that doesn't have to be true. How about this one? Uh, well, X is odd. So we have an odd number plus, here it is, an even number. So for the same reason up here, when we multiplied 50 times Y, we got an even number. When I multiply two by any number, almost, almost by definition, I get an even number, right? So this is an odd plus an even, which has to be an odd. And if you want to, you can just confirm these last two by, by double checking, right? But this is the only answer option that has to be odd. We'll do it real quick. Three times an odd number has to be odd, because three is odd, odd times odd, minus an odd number has to be an even, right? And same deal here. Three times an odd number plus an odd number has to be an even. So the correct answer here is C. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my live online course, follow the link on my profile.